does not want to be in this video, but uh, I am not going to edit her out. So we're going to hit up a few different thrift shops uh, in the area. We're going to hit up first in the Red, White and Blue thrift shop. It's over in uh, West Berlin, New Jersey. We have never been to that thrift shop before. Pulling up on this uh, red, white, and blue thrift shop. This is in West Berlin, New Jersey. We This parking lot was packed. It was a busy Saturday at this store. Walking in, you know, make sure you're wearing a mask. Make sure you're following social distancing. Good luck with that inside the store. It's just really packed in there. So definitely wear a mask. If you're sick, don't go and shop. But this store is humongous. Oh, so today is uh, blue and black. Blue and black. These uh, red, white, and blue thrift shops, they have signs plastered throughout the store. Um, one thing that goes with my rule number one that I always give people is test everything before you buy it. The same thing goes with make sure you're satisfied with that item before you pay for it. Because if it does not work or you get home and it's dead on arrival it's all that merchandise is sold as is so they don't do any refunds or exchanges they are very strict on that another thing too to be aware is anything that is missing a price tag they will not sell it to you they'll just take it and then put it back on the floor the following day um they do this to prevent people from popping tags or moving prices around uh another key thing is it's cash only they do not accept checks or credit cards so they, these locations also have ATMs on the premises, but make sure that that ATM is part of your bank network because if it's not, you're going to get hit with different charges and stuff for it. Um, but yeah, definitely take a look at some of these signs when you walk in there and familiarize yourself with them because these are their store policies and they don't need to tell you anywhere at any time. They've told you because they have a sign somewhere posted in the store. A big suggestion that I have for all of y'all is when you pull up at one of these thrift shops, especially the red, red, and blue thrift shop, it, the first shopping cart that you see out in the parking lot, take it. Because this particular day, there were no shopping carts when I walked in. It was hard for me to find one. Luckily, my wife had gotten a shopping cart, so you know I ended up using it a little bit afterwards. But I took one of those hand baskets, and if you all have seen my videos in the past, nothing that I take fits in that basket so if i get a vcr or some other electronic goodie it's not gonna fit in there so definitely get a shopping cart the second you see a shopping cart just take it because the employees are not gathering shopping carts in the parking lot to replenish them in the stores so as we walk around we're going to notice that they have a lot of home goods you know they had glass plates they had pots pans these are items that, again, some of these items may have a resale value, but, you know, it, it's a good thing, especially if you need it for your home. They had some bag goodies over here as well, where uh, they've got a variety of items that they put in the bag and they just sell it for you. This could be hangers. This could be um, toys, home goodies and stuff. One thing I want to advise is do not open those baggies because another rule that they have in the store is if you open the baggie, they will not sell it to you. So, I know I, I've seen baggies in Unique, and I've opened them, and I have, have, haven't have had any problems there. But for Red, Red, and Blue, they do have a rule that says, do not open the baggies because they will not sell it to you. So, here we notice that here, we're in my favorite section, the electronic section. So, here I'm looking at the various items that they have. They've got uh, boom boxes, CD players, uh, just, just trying to see what, what they have. Also, always remember, test these items before you buy them. Mo there's a lot of hidden gems in here. You don't want to take home trash that you're going to have to throw out. So one of the first items that I came across here was the Philips DC290 radio, iPod, iPhone, alarm clock. This uses a 30 pin iPod, iPhones for this radio. Uh, upon checking it on eBay, I saw that these are going between 
20 and $30. So they, they, there were quite a few items that were being sold consistently. So it was an item that was a popular item that people are looking for and buying. For the truth, will it power on? Does it work? So they have a test strip over here, plugged it in, and it turned on. I played around with the radio. The FM signal was sort of weak here, but it's because you're in a brick building and the signal doesn't really penetrate that well inside. So I tested it at home and the FM signal was a lot stronger there. Um, but overall, this cost me $5.99. We had a red sticker, and I listed on eBay for $19.99 plus uh, shipping. So I, I go went back over here to see if there's any other goodies, any other missing goodies and stuff. I know there were some uh, retro alarm clock radios. I may have uh, missed out on that. Uh, next time, I'll, I'll, t I'll you know I'll take a look at seeing if some of these retro alarm clock radios do move. But, yeah, they had a lot of items here. Boom boxes and stuff. It's definitely, you know, if you had the time, go through some of these items and see if, if they have a resale value. Especially, too, if you can test it out. They have these strips right in front of you. Hey, it doesn't hurt. So upon over here checking, this is the home AV multimedia section. They had VCRs, they had DVD players, Blu-ray players, VCR, DVD combos. Found myself this pretty sweet Samsung Blu-ray player. This was the uh, Samsung BDF5700. Uh, I checked, you know, it didn't have a remote control, obviously. It was had a blue tag for $9.99, so I paid... $4.99 for it. Cut the story short. I tested it out, plugged it in. It worked. It opened. There was a TV lying like on this particular row. Moved it over, found the power cord from another unit, plugged it in. It had an HDMI cord already attached to it. Found the DVD lying in the store. And I actually went to test these units out. They had no VHS tapes, but for the other units, but for this one, I tested it with a uh, DVD uh, movie. And it played on the TV. I ultimately took it for five bucks, listed it on eBay for $29.99 plus shipping. Super, super score on this one because within 10 minutes of me listing this at like one in the morning, somebody bought it. So it sold for 30 bucks. And I caught, you know, I paid 30, you know, five bucks for it. So super sweet deal on this particular uh, Blu ray player. I love Blu ray players because they always move. So, I mean, here we're checking out other electronic units, you know, within the home AV section. They had quite a few VCR units, which I did pick up two VCRs here. They had some of the DTV tuners. I've seen on some other videos that these DTV tuners um, have a pretty good resale value. I'm going to hold off on that because where I live, the TV signals over the air are not the best. They, they really suck where I live. So it, it would be really hard for me to test to see if it worked. Um, you know, it's more of a rural area where I'm at. Um, now here they had some other technology like routers, but, you know, these are the older style routers, like the N routers. If you see like an AC router... Those are some that you may want to pick up because those are like more of the technolo t technological forward uh, routers. I mean, but I haven't checked on eBay to see if there's a, a reset value. And looking above, there's a lot of electronics, uh, home goods on the very top row. Always good checking out, but I didn't see anything that really struck out my eye. So here I came across a Go Video DV2130. It's one of those VCR DVD combo dual deck units. 
Um, this one, I, I, I had purchased one at a Goodwill like a few weeks ago in Connecticut. It was pretty cheap, but it was dead on arrival. Uh, that one had so many issues. Well, the VHS on that one worked. So on uh, this particular one that I found here this day, I tested the DVD door. It opened. I remember I said earlier I took that TV and I plugged it in. A DVD played on it. They had no VHS cassettes. So I ended up, you know, taking this one. I saw the resale value on eBay. These are in, uh, popular items. They, they were frequent models of these sold uh, consistently. And they had a resale value of between 50 bucks to $70, depending on the shipping terms of it. But I did pick this one up, uh, and I have it listed for $49.99. When I took it home, I plugged it onto my TV, and I tested it with a VHS cassette, another DVD movie, and it worked perfectly. So it's still on eBay, and there's a lot of views and watches for this particular uh, item. This is a little bit better. Now, remember in the early part of the video, I said get a shopping cart when you walk in. Very important to get it. Uh, hand basket didn't help. Luckily, my wife uh, called my wife. She brought me a shopping cart. Don't judge me for putting all this stuff on a wheelchair, okay? But I just don't. I, I don't know where to put it. So I came across this uh, Symphonic VCR unit. This one is a forehead VCR. I looked at it. It looked like it was in good condition. I found it on eBay. Noticed that it had a pretty good resale value. And it consistently was getting sales on there. So obviously my main goal was to see, hey, does this unit work? So obviously I plugged it in. Since I didn't have a cassette tape to try it out with, I based it on, hey, were the buttons intact, were, did it power on, and I was hearing the head, the unit inside to see if there was like any grinding noises or any smell of smoke, um, and there was none of the above. It did power on, um, so it seemed like it was responsive, so I did uh, pick this one up. It cost me, I, I don't know if it was between 3 or $6, I know it says $6 on there, I don't have the receipt on me anymore. But uh, when I took it home, I plugged it onto the TV, and I had a VHS cassette. Crossed my fingers that it did not destroy the cassette. It did not. The cassette played perfectly. So I listed it for $29.99, and within a few hours, it sold for the full ask price. So I sold it for $29.99 plus shipping. So this was a another super score. So, after I recorded this section, uh, my battery and my memory card started getting wonky um, this day. So, uh, I didn't get the footage for this one, but uh, there was Zenith uh, on that on that section there. It was a Zenith a VCR. Uh, I picked this one up. It was like $3. And I was able to list it on eBay for, I believe, 30 bucks. Uh, it's still active on there, so just waiting for a sale. There are people watching it right now. Uh, but, yeah, so going through on here, you notice that there are a ton of DVDs. Uh, there, the, where the gentleman is standing, that's where all the CDs and the vinyl are. Sometimes, you know, they may have other media there, but he was there for like a long time looking for items. Uh, tons of books, tons of uh, DVDs. I saw some Blu-rays, a lot of toys. Didn't have much time this day to check these sections out. They did not have any VHS cassettes, so that's one thing I did not notice here. Where a lot of other thrift shops, they're they're loaded with uh, VHS cassettes, and then they had like home appliances more towards there. Uh, vases. Vases. Yeah. How much? Oh, five bucks. For the house. It's not on sale, but. What else is this? Is what do you think about these? So it's Christina. Five by seven. This is what two ninety nine for the house, right? Yeah. It's not bad. It's not ugly. Okay. That's it. Everything else is good. Then she found uh, she found this uh, Connect Adventures Xbox 360. Um, I have a Connect. I can't find it. I was gonna to resell it. It's gonna be a pretty cool thing to put together and stuff. My uh, camera ran out of uh, storage space. 
Wait, this store is okay, huge. Let's get on the line. Toys. Don't have enough time today. We're gonna have to come back.